Hey, what is up guys? So the new rank section of Overwatch is going to be coming out pretty soon and Jeff Kaplan made a video talking about all of the new things that they are going to be introducing and playtesting uh, in the new rank section of the game. If you guys want to watch the full video, I'll link it down below in the description box, but I wanted to give you guys my thoughts, my opinions, and also like the too long didn't read version of his uh, video that he made. But anyways, first off, the new rank section, what are the rewards? Because that's the first thing I want to know. You know, if I'm going to invest a lot of time into it, other than getting a number, do I get anything else? And the answer is yes, you do. Uh, they were talking about a like, golden hammer for Reinhardt and other cosmetic things that probably will add portraits to the game also. Uh, you know, just small things. It's not going to be anything that's going to, you know, obviously change the game as this game uh, doesn't want to uh, have any variations of like, oh, this Genji's going to do more damage because he's the carbon fiber one, although he should. But um, anyways, yeah, they're just adding new cosmetic things and some things will only be able to be unlocked by playing the rank section of the game, which I think is really cool. There's a lot of things that I like in games where it's like, you know, you see someone with that really rare armor and you know that they had to, you know, work a long time to actually obtain that and that could be through, you know, actually obtaining a rank or just uh, through playtime. But uh, yeah, they did say depending on your rank, you will unlock certain things. So if you are in that higher tier, so to speak, uh, you know, your higher MMR, uh, you'll be unlocking other things, which is actually something that's really cool. Um, and as far as in the rank section, one thing that I really wanted to know if they were adding this is you can see who is together in the game and you can see who is, you know, a, a team of pre -made. So if you're facing off against, uh, you know, six players that are all in group, you'll know that you're facing off against six other players. And I think that that's something that's really cool. This way you can get a better understanding uh, of, you know, if these guys have microphones or if they're communicating or not. It's just something that I think is nice to be added in uh, to the game. But, you know, through doing this, some people will just be like, well, all oh, they're pre-made of six, therefore they should be winning. I, I don't have that mentality, but I do like to know uh, who's in a party with each other because if a Mercy and someone else are in a party together, more than likely the Mercy is going to stick around that person. So I'll have to know that, uh, you know, I don't always have access to that Mercy because they're going to probably stick to, you know, that person that they're playing with. It just kind of makes sense and it definitely does help out in the game. Uh, in addition to that, they're also uh, updating the spectator mode. Uh, because of how the game is made, uh, it should actually prioritize on people's ults, but sometimes the game can't factor that in. It's not going to know, you know, what's going to happen when someone ults. Are they going to get five man uh, kill feed or something like that? So they should add some other mode to it uh, that can essentially replay. So one excellent example of that would be something like if, you know, a Genji or right here, I'm ulting right now. If I, you know, kill their team, uh, it's going to be able to go back and you should be able to re-see some of that stuff. I think that that would be really cool. So uh, not only would that be a really cool addition to add, but sometimes when there's like, you know, team kill, there's a downtime of like, you know, a few seconds where nothing happens. So I think it'd be really good if they added that during that downtime. So like, you know, once you get that team kill, you can rewatch the team kill because there's not going to be really anything interesting to watch on screen anyways. Similar to, you know, how some other games do it, whether it's like StarCraft, League of Legends, you know, any esports game, they really need to update that spectator mode. And that's just something that will eventually come. So I think that that's something I don't think anyone's going to be like, wow, I don't like this addition there's no way people wouldn't like that addition um also as far as the uh seasons go they are now gonna be three months it's gonna be two and a half months and then a short like few two ish weeks of some downtime where they're just kind of waiting for the next season to start in addition to that they are also fixing the sudden death because uh, a lot of people they'd be like, oh, swap to like Winston, swap to Diva, and they would just stall out the map when it went to the sudden death. They're gonna try to resolve this issue, and they're gonna resolve it on the same map that you uh, got the sudden death on. So that can be something that uh, you know some players might be happy about. Some people like the sudden death that happens every game. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. It does happen quite often. It doesn't seem like it's that special, but they are gonna be uh, fixing the issue with the sudden deaths occurring so often. In addition to that, the Assault Mode, uh, which doesn't see play at most tournaments. Uh, there are some tournaments that do some uh, Assault Modes, but for the most part, they want to change that. Uh, if you guys uh, have noticed, sometimes you could be defending for 90% of the time, and you're doing really well, but then they just go six-man ulti, and they're like, oh, oh, we just win now. It's it's very frustrating to run into that kind of uh, game where it's really close. Uh, like, you're doing a really good job for the entirety of it. It doesn't even have to be close. Like, you're completely stomping them on defense, and then they get just one good attack, and they win. It's, it is kind of frustrating, so perhaps lowering the amount of time that you are given to be able to capture the second point, that could be something that they can look and do. But they didn't mention that, by the way, that they were going to change the time. They just want to mention that they want to change something on that um also as far as the rank goes there's no tier section in ranked uh they want to do it by mmr and they want to use it uh in a term that they're called 
calling skill rating and that's going to be anywhere from 1 to 100 and it does show in game so I think that's very awesome that they're going to be very transparent and you can see. Um, also you can actually lose and fall out of ranks now. Uh, before it was like Call of Duty where you would just progress and you couldn't fall out of a, uh, a certain like tier uh, so to speak or a division uh, if you reached it. Um, there's no details on if pre-made of 6 you will match up with a pre-made of 6. Uh, they also mentioned that there will be new heroes and also uh, new maps later this year, which I think is something that's really cool. But um, as far as uh, my thoughts and opinions on this, now that I've basically told you all the stuff that uh, most of you guys wanted to hear, uh, you know, gave you guys again the too long didn't read version of it, uh, I really like that you can see who you're matched up against. Again, it just makes more sense like that because you're able to see exactly who you're playing uh, against, and you can know like e even if it's not someone you're playing against, you can see that uh, you know if again like if uh, Mercy is going to be partying with you know another player you can expect them to follow that player for the majority of the game it just it just really helps out but like i said if you guys want to watch the full uh video of all of the uh, details on it um which pr i pretty much went over you guys can do so by visiting the description box and uh, i'll leave the link for the official like jeff kaplan video but yeah i'm really stoked to see some rank guys uh and i will definitely get some good footage for you guys in rank like i'm just really waiting for rank because sometimes i feel like i try so hard with genji but it don't even matter because you're not getting those ranks but anyways thanks for watching guys and i'm signing out